Hey Scott, here is a quick um, video screencast for you uh, trying to accomplish this um, discussion group the way you would like it. So I went into uh, my first course, section one of my fake course, and I can also copy these to my other courses, th this action to other courses if I want. So one thing I'm going to do is um, I've noticed that a lot of advanced users of Schoology hide all this stuff here simply by clicking over here and you can choose to hide or show them and they make a folder for the next week or a few weeks so I started kind of doing that because it made a lot of sense then when this week's over I can go over here and um, save stuff to my resources and um, delete it but I'm going to go into this week's assignment and say, okay, we're going to make a discussion group. There it is. And I'm going to call it um, this, the, I'll call it the project. And in the next area, I can put a description. I can use some rich text editing and all that stuff. I can also, um, add links to other resources right in the post or I can add links at the bottom of it if that makes more sense for you. I can also upload video and uh, images to spruce this up. Even insert a table and all that jazz. You can set a due date for it. I was going to say today's the 18th so I'm going to set it up for next week and if I don't um, I can change the time if I want. And I am going to enable grading on this. Once I do that, I get a category up here. If you've put in a grading categories in your, in your grade book, uh, you should be all set to go. I'm just gonna call this uh, classwork, it's fine. And I can choose my numbering. Uh, I think I'll give him uh, a letter grades there. If I need to, I can jump right to grading options here and set up my grade book. Um, also, if, if you haven't set up a grade book and you need some grading options, once you set it up for one course, you can copy those settings into other courses uh, fairly simply. Just let me know if you need that. Uh, down here in the advanced is where you're going to have some fun. I can assign this to individual groups. Um, right now it's visible to students, but right here uh, it says members can see other responses before participating. So if I leave that grade out, when kids jump into the discussion, they're gonna be able to see every post that's been made and every reply by students in that discussion. Um, I know teachers that check that, that want it colored in so that other kids cannot see any of the other kids' work until they've submitted their um, topic in the discussion. Then they're free to go browse all of theirs and or browse all the others and then comment uh, to other people's work. Right down here is if you want to copy it to other sections of that you're uh, teaching you can definitely do that. So I can copy it, copy it, copy it and it'll be all set to go. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna hit create and now it's in that folder. If I click on the project there, um, you can see there are no discussions, but I could write something and post it. As a student, once I've done that with, a, with an attachment, then I would be allowed to see what other kids have um, written. Once other kids are in here, you're gonna see a drop-down menu where you can choose students. Uh, somewhere around here it'll be. And once you highlight a student, everything will go gray except for your conversations with that student. So it'll be easier to grade. There'll be um, something over here that will allow you to uh, give a grade to students. So I know those aren't showing up, but it's because I don't have any students in this class. No one's participated. Uh, I think that's about it. That should accomplish it. And through this, when they write a com when they write a um, a post here. They can do it with audio, their resources, or video. They can also provide a link if they're hosting it on maybe the student created website or something. But they can also upload files, multimedia files. So hope that helps. Have a great day. Good luck with the project. Hope it goes well. Hey, uh, one last quick tip. 
Once you're in the discussion, an easy way to get students there is to copy the URL, go into updates for that course, um, and um, say here is the project, or whatever you'd like to say, and provide a direct link to that in your course. Project discussion. Uh, the upside of this is that kids have a direct link to get there after you post it. The downside of it is you may have to do that into each of your sections because it will provide a different URL for each um, discussion group that you set up. So there you go.